Hey guys, so it has been far too long since I've made a second video. I actually tried to upload one, but it uh, wouldn't upload, I guess. I don't know, it kept messing up. I tried for like days, like weeks actually, and it just wasn't uploading. So this is my second go for it. And if this doesn't work, then I guess YouTube's a no for me. But um, <clears throat> it's been a really long time. I haven't really had time to upload a video. I've been super preoccupied with work and I was doing Willy Wonka at the time whenever I was thinking about doing YouTube videos. So yeah, it's been a pretty good while. But all of that's over, except for work. And it's summertime, so I decided, hey, why not make a video? And I made a poll on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter what you guys wanted to see and you said you wanted to see a makeup look so I'm going to do one a basic one <laughs> a basic dude makeup tutorial I guess so yeah let's get started okay so I've already taken the liberty of priming my face with my NYX pore filler I bought this a little while ago I've been using it ever since I use it all the time I really like it. It's like a pinky look. It uh, has a toner in it, I think, because it just evens out my skin tone and it makes my skin feel like so soft and it really does fill your pores. Like you can't even see them half the time. So I guess you could go around and like just wear this, but like I'm not going to because I'm super extra. <laughs> so we're going to start with foundation. So I use CoverGirl CG Smoothers Hydrating Makeup and Buff Beige. This is super duper cheap. It's like six bucks or something at Walmart. I don't know. I apply about this much. And I have a mirror set up right here so I'm not just like glancing outside or whatever. So I always start on my cheeks. It's awfully pale. <laughs> And do circular motions to sort of buff it. My grandpa's outside patrolling because he's trying to sell his car. So hopefully he doesn't see me putting on a full face of makeup in the mirror for the world to see because it's so embarrassing. This will also answer any questions about how you apply makeup with a beard because I have a full on scruff going on. You basically just don't have to apply anything right here. You know, I figured it'd be pretty self explanatory, but I guess not. I get asked that question all the time. In the last video I made, I was like super raspy because I was sinuses and I was trying to be quiet. So I was like, hey guys, my name's Cedric. It was awful. But now I'm going to try to be loud and try not to bother anyone. Wow, this makeup looking kind of decent for once. Holla. Okay, I don't have anything on my nose yet. I always do everything and then do my nose last. I don't know why. I've just always done it like that. You figure that you do your nose first, but like... Not me! But I've never stuck to conformity anyway. Oh God. <laughs> Dude, I swear, putting on makeup is so tedious. Like, if I could just wake up and be cute, my life would be so much better. I wouldn't have to try. I wouldn't have to give a shit. <laughs> okay, when I have bangs, I don't really apply anything really up here that much. Because... 
sorry, my grandma did my laundry. <laughs> she was giving it to me. What was I saying? Oh yeah, bangs. I don't really apply that much because it makes me break out. And I also feel like I don't really need to if no one's going to see it. Also, my hair's gray if you guys didn't notice. Okay. Random chicken of sundresses in my yard. I have so much left over. I'm just gonna blend that all over my hand. My next step, I'm gonna go in with this uh, Maybelline New York concealer. My friend Kirsten told me to use it. She said it's really nice, and I've used it, and I really, really enjoy it. So, yay for Kirsten. Usually, if I'm not breaking out like awfully. I just conceal under my eyes in little triangular motions. And I'll do some spot coverage sometimes. This is one of those times because I look like a piece of pizza. <laughs> okay, for the spot coverage. The <laughs> in spot coverage, I just do a little dot slash dabbing motions it seems to press it in very nicely and make the spots disappear it really seems to work for me most of the time and then for my eyes I totally was like listening to my dog barking so I uh, blend this way. Now I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Mineral Wear. I use this shit on a daily. Well, if I wear makeup on a daily. Basically, I bake every time I do my makeup. And this keeps it like a nice healthy bake. It doesn't like destroy my skin. I'm just over here trying to bake my face and bitches from bake my privacy. Literally they're walking all in front of the yard. And I'm like, this is the only lighting that I have. Stupid fake tan sundress girl. So, now that I look like a cocoa, I'm just going to let that sit on there for around however long I want. <laughs> so, to do like five minutes. I don't. So, while that's a cooking, I like to um, do my eyebrows. I don't even know what brand this is. Um, it's Walmart. Super cheap. Really, really like it. I've used it like two summers in a row. As in, like, had this for two summers. Oh my god, I'm shaking. So I'm gonna use this one. I always like to start off with the head of my eyebrow. If you haven't noticed, my eyebrows are two completely different shapes, so I have to do it to where they match, kind of. So since this one goes down like that, I tend to take it and go over in that general area. So once I have the gel, I take the powder and blend it that way so it creates a natural hair darkness look because my eyebrows are naturally black so if I try to fill them in 
too dark, they end up looking like Sharpies. Hello, junior year for me. All of my junior year was just Sharpies, no one told me. Yeah. It's great. Okay, now that I have the head of my eyebrows semi done, I take this uh, NYX. NYX is one of my favorite brands. Whatever this, I didn't even finish. NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in Ash Brown. So I take it and flatten these out. And I recently changed my eyebrow shape up, so I add some curvature to it. Because this one's arch is super duper archy. And this one is a hill. So I have to, you know, even shit up. God. Ah. So now that my eyebrows sufficiently look awful, I'm guessing they didn't buy it because they left in their vehicle and not my grandpa's. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to take my Smashbox Hint of Bronze Blush. It's freaking... I use it for contour, it's not blush. I don't hear what anyone says. And contrary to popular belief, boys and girls have different cheekbones. Boys are more angular, girls are more oval. I say that contrary to popular belief because judging by some people's contours, people don't realize that. So I like to do just a light dusting. This brush sucks. I'm not applying a shit ton of powder. Don't worry. Okay. So once my cheekbones are looking snatched. They're my cheekbone. I haven't even finished the other one. Holy fudge. My nose looks huge. I rock it. I'm a beautiful little hawk. Gotta make sure there's an even amount. I totally thought that I paused it, and I didn't, so, <laughs> oops. Now I'm gonna take this, um, ugly ass foundation brush and use it for contouring my nose. I have a gigantic nose, so contouring really helps my face if I do it right. Okay, now I'm going to knock everything down. Whoa. Gonna blend off my big. Blend off. <laughs> Gonna take off my big and blend it into my powdered contour to create. Basic look. Just 
So as you can see, if I would stop right here, I would look like a psychopath who never sleeps. Or doesn't need to sleep because it's just a blank canvas. So now I'm going to take this cheap ass ghetto elf palette thing that I bought at a goodies. And this naked Urban Decay. Urban Decay Naked 2 brush. I take this uh, darkest color here. And I go along my lash line. Holy. Oh, in a hand basket. What is on this brush? Good thing I was gentle. Usually it does not come off that strong. Holy mother. My makeup look is like ruined. It was supposed to be a light dusting and it came out destruction and death. Okay. <laughs> this gives a decent amount of depth to your face like it's like your eyes are it really makes them more prominent it makes them like pop like I do that because I have super duper duper tiny eyes <laughs> okay now I'm just going to apply this base powder stuff right here all over the lid of my eye I'm gonna take this light stuff. <laughs> and then just do a slight indention at the uh, tear duct part of my eye. And that opens my eyes up and makes them look like I'm awake. So now I'm going to take this um, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, super duper pink. My friend Jaden gave it to me. And I just put a little bit on my lower lip. A little bit. Like, pull up my entire lip. Move that around. I'm going to dab it to get rid of any creases. I'm not getting the product out. I'm kind of getting like a stained look effect look like that's what I'm going for. Just to lighten up my face. Okay. Now I'm basically done after this. So I use Maybelline's pumped up colossal lashes. I use the hell out of this as you can tell because my brush is flat. And my eyelashes, it just makes them look decent. Makes me get some compliments when I'm needing them. But it also isn't clumpy, so if you want to rock long eyelashes without the look of a clump vest, then this is the way to go. Holy hell, I'm at 20 minutes. Who's gonna want to watch me for 20 minutes straight? I 
I recommend taking periodic breaks from me. <laughs> Alright, so this is the, uh, finished look. <sighs> Thanks for sticking through with it, with me, <laughs> while I was doing this video, because it was kind of a mess, but, uh, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna have to start making more videos, because I really do like it, and now that I've been interrupted 68 times, <sighs> That was all for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and uh, leave a comment. If you didn't, then I'm sorry. Don't watch me. Anyways. <laughs> well, till next time.